Yo, what's up, Manif King? Welcome to another video, and today I will be sharing my new settings with you guys. I saw that a lot of you guys asked for me to make a new video about my settings. I didn't change that much things, but on this video, I have some special things to show to you guys, and also some extra tips that gonna be a game changing for you guys. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys doesn't know about it. So before the video starts, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And let me know in the comments if this, those tips actually help you on Funky Friday. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so okay, let's go as the as usual. I don't have those options enabled right now, but I usually play with those enabled, you know? Those are very useful, okay? Those options, those three options right here are very useful because it helps you, you with your FPS a lot. So I recommend you having those options enabled, okay? This one, you know, it's up to you. Like, I usually don't use it, but I recommend you using. And you, you see those toggle? toggle options right here you need to disable all those options especially this one uh toggle camera movement like bro this is so distracting for your gameplay because the camera just keeps like switching to the left and the right and it's very distracting okay so yeah disable those toggle options and this one is the bot play if you like to play with the bot play it's up to you and yeah bot accuracy instant animation snapping off Camera movement, it doesn't matter because you already disabled the camera movement feature. Okay, so info bar is useful because it's gonna show you accuracy, miss, and combo. It's very useful. I'm pretty sure you guys have this enabled. Open the info bar to check you open it and see if he's cheating or not. And judgment statics, I don't have it, but I recommend you using. Okay, you do it. I didn't know this was an option to be honest. I just found out today. And please use this option, it's very useful. And hide spectators is, you know when you're playing a 1v1 on the song and you can see people walking around. I recommend you enable this option because I think those people and uh, walking around is distraction and you don't want distraction in a rhythm game. That's that. That's it. So please enable that option and hide hide seated players. This option is also very useful to, to have enabled, okay? Scroll underlay transparency. The default is one. I recommend setting this to zero. Because with this option, you can have this, the black thing be, uh, behind the gameplay. And it makes it makes more ease to uh, look on the notes, you know? It makes the notes more visible and helps a lot. So I always have this option on zero. You can make it 0 0.5, but I, I recommend using it on zero, okay? So yeah, toggle go stepping, enable, use go stepping because it's, it's just better. Middle scroll is personal preference. I usually use middle scroll because it's, you know, my position here is in the middle of the monitor. I usually have that look on the middle of the monitor. So for me on middle scroll, it's better. So I, again, it's personal preference. Open errors is if you want to look on the open errors when you have middle scroll. I use it because I, I do streams and it's interesting to see my opening view. So yeah, toggle, uh, toggle health bar. I don't use this. I, I found it very uh, useless, so I don't use it. Down scroll, I, I have it enabled because I'm a down scroll player. But if you're an up scroll player, it's fine. You don't need this option, okay? If you're up scroll player, keep playing on up scroll because there's no difference. Up scroll, down scroll, it's just preference, okay? So error replication is the colors of the errors of you opening and. It, it, those options here it doesn't really matter okay so if you can have the same um the, uh you can have all those options enabled and note hit time is the milliseconds on the bottom it's this option is useful to see if you open it is hacking and if you do videos if you post videos on youtube it's a good feature to prove that you're not cheating okay because it's really easy to catch if someone's cheating by just having this option enabled, okay? So yeah, I have this enabled all the time. Uh, missed note sound, I disable because it's very annoying. And hit sounds, I don't use hit sounds because hit sounds on Funky Friday is not good because it sounds out of sync for me. It sounds really out of sync and I don't recommend you use this, man. Error fade and press error go disable those options. It's good to have this those options disabled and I'll tag to be honest. I think it doesn't really matter this option right here It's just the thing that it's on the on the top of your head, right? So yeah, that's pretty much my options here on that session. Okay, so let's jump into the, the arrows and stuff Okay, guys, I just put a song in the background 
but we're gonna jump on this session right here the skin pretty much you guys know that i use circles but i'm gonna say that it's all preference okay you can use bars circles and arrows but there's some there's some skins here that i don't recommend using okay and i'm gonna show you guys right now you can you can use diamonds it's good and you can even use this axi arrows okay but something like expurgation arrows is something that i don't recommend because it has those details that can be you know distract the uh i can be distracting for your gameplay so i don't recommend expurgation arrows i don't recommend this fumo arrows like for fun it's good but i don't recommend i don't recommend the hazard uh let's see um the retrospected is not good i already saw that it doesn't look good it's not look clean you know and this square to be honest i found it very mean i don't recommend it and the, the among us man <laughs> i don't i don't even have to say anything about the among us man just don't use those man but the rest is just fine you can you can stick to it and the colors the colors i always recommend using bright colors you know you can use white uh white like i do you can use like yellow because it looks nice you see you can use red those look very nice but i don't recommend you use like black because it's it's it just doesn't look good like it's kind of hard to, to to look on the note and if you use the option that i use that underlay transparency on zero the note pretty much gonna become invisible so yeah i recommend you using white yellow and red those are the best colors on my opinion and i use white so yeah okay let's go let's go for the next option and let's go right here on this option error speed Okay, let's talk about error speed. I have my option on 2.1. But I'm going to I'm going to say that this set, uh this option right here is preference, you know, okay? But I have something in mind. If you use this option like a low number like 1.3, 1.2, it's going to be good because you're going to have some reaction time to 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 look on the notes, but it's going to hurt you accuracy if you have a low number here. But if you have something like 2.1 or a little bit higher it's it's gonna be fast and it's gonna be more easy to, to understand the notes and it's gonna improve your accuracy but uh, i'm gonna say that this option is preference okay i use 2.1 but you can you, if you use 1.8 it's fine if you use 2.5 it's fine like pro players on ozomania they all the pro players pretty much have their own score speed you know error speed so yeah it's preference okay error size i'm using the default one it looks good and on lane offset i'm using minus 50 because as you can see on the uh, on the background the receptors are very close you know it makes better it, it makes it, it makes looks better for me so i use minus 50 now okay it's very useful for me i, I recommend you trying this to see if it helps you gameplay okay nice okay jumping into the key bind i'm using d f j k for now the default like default for rhythm games that are furky okay but there's other other key binds that i recommend you testing okay so let's start with the top row if you play on top row you can use key uh key uh q w uh w o p those are pretty good for top uh top row and on the middle row you can use d f j k or a s k l those are very useful and on the bottom row you can use zx comma period or you can use zx and nm those are very useful my keyboard as you can see right here it's a 60 percent keyboard so i don't have the numpad but if you have a numpad and want to try something different you can use zx numpad one numpad two and you can use as numpad four numpad five or key qw uh, numpad seven and eight those are very useful. I, I already used ZX and Numpad 1, Numpad 2 for a long time because it felt amazing. But I don't use it anymore. But you can try it and see if it works good for you. <clears throat> okay, now that we are pretty much done with the settings on Roblox, I'm gonna teach you how to unlock your FPS and make your game run very, very smooth. And trust me, that session right now is gonna help you a lot on riffing game because on riffing game every millisecond matter 
Yes, you don't want input lag. You don't want delay on your keyboard. You don't want those things. And those uh, and unlock your FPS is gonna help you a lot. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna teach you. Okay, guys, we are here on Google, and you guys are gonna type Roblox FPS Unlocker. Nice. You're gonna see this GitHub uh, website. You're gonna click here, and here we are on Roblox FPS Unlocker. You you go for the latest version, okay? And here on Assets, you click on the first one. Boom. Nice. Right, so you just downloaded the the FPS Unlocker, and now we're gonna open it. And okay, I have mine enabled uh, open, so I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna open it again. And you're going to see this this back window and it's going to close in like two seconds and it's pretty much activated. And if you go on on here and right click, you can see some options right here. And there's this option called FPS cap. You know, if you use known, it's going to make it unlimited. You know, it's going to go as high as you can as you can handle. But you can set it to 30, 60, 75. I, I use I personally use on 120 because that's the hertz of my monitor but if you have a good pc you can just use known and go higher as your pc can handle and you your roblox is gonna be very smooth very very smooth right now my roblox is running on 140 fps and when i start a song it goes like 200 and it's very useful and the last tip I have for you guys on Roblox to make it better is to make the game full screen exclusive, okay? So pretty much, I'm going to provide this link on the description of the video and you're going to open this page and you're going to download this thing right here, clientappsettings.json, okay? It's 49 bytes, so it's going to download very fast. And after you do that, you're going to press window key and R. It's going to open this 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 little window right here and you're gonna type percentage app data percentage okay and you're gonna click enter after that you're gonna be on this roaming page you're gonna go click here on ape data and you're gonna go on local after you go on local you search for roblox and here on roblox you go on versions and you go for your latest version it has a weird code here and on this page right here you're gonna create a um a folder call it client settings and it has to be on that way with the c uppercase and s uppercase okay it has to be on that way client settings and you're gonna paste that that file here the file you downloaded from this website here and after you've done that pretty much you open roblox and roblox is gonna look on that way for you and you just have to hit alt and enter boom the game is full screen I don't know if it's captioned on OBS because it's full screen exclusive right now. Okay, so we are pretty much on full screen now and it's gonna help you a lot with your FPS. Sometimes it can go up to like 20 FPS because it's full screen and helps you with input lag and delay on your keyboard. And you're probably gonna notice that you're gonna hit some notes early, you know? It's, it's normal, okay? Because you got rid of from some input lag and it's normal to hit early so you pretty much gonna relearn how to hit it on you know the default time which has no delay and stuff so those are pretty much the best settings you can have on roblox to make it run smooth and perfect man those are the best settings and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was good <laughs> I, I i'm not into tutorials you know so i hope i didn't make any uh too much mistakes and i really hope it helps you guys like it helps me you know like playing this game with 60 fps is fine but when you have your fps unlocked and all those options enabled it just make it way way better and i'm pretty sure it's gonna help you do better in this game so please make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps me a lot, and let me know in the comments if it helps you, okay? And that's pretty much it, i see you guys in the next video, and bye bye!